Hi, hey, Lucy. Lucy. Thank you very much for chatting with Vox today. Um, can you first introduce yourselves so you, and tell us where you're from? Daniel sure thing, yeah. So Daniel Bryant, uh, primarily here. Well, I work for a company called Open Credo in London as a consultancy company, but primarily here today re representing the LJC, aren't we, Manning? London Java community and the Adopt Open JDK and the Adopt JSR programs. Yep. Uh, hi, um, I'm a Java developer as well, working for an online gaming company called Gamesys and primarily representing the LJC, uh, like Daniel. Uh, we both are partners in crime for uh, promoting Adopt Open JDK and uh, Java-related technologies. Um, so yeah, basically lots of community-related activities uh, that brings us here at this conference. This is very much a community conference, isn't it? I think it's fair to say. Yeah. I mean, obviously, yesterday riding roller coasters, um, lots of kind of interaction with people in the community, but also kind of a very important opportunity for people to come together and speak about issues in Java. And what have you guys been doing here this week? So this week we did a, a, a lecture yesterday at 12 o'clock, which we'll do again today at 12 o'clock, another half an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, and then we did a, a hands-on session with Night Hacking and um, VJUG together. Mm -hmm. It was broadcasted cool. to up to 500 people. Uh, where we actually showed quickly how you can build OpenJDK, and that's the the code base that's used to build Java, the Java that we download and run on our local machines and handheld devices. Um, and we also gave them an idea of how you can change the OpenJDK, put your own stuff in it, and then run your own program, which will behave now differently because you've changed Java. And <laughs> on top of that, we showed them a kind of sort of back door, told them about back doors that you can use to Im improve get a get like a, a speed optimization over how you can update the OpenJDK images without having to wait for like 10 or 15 minutes of compilation time. Um, and all of that is documented and all of that is easily available. So we provided all the resources that we've collected in the last two years or we have gathered. Quite a few, money, quite yeah. a few. Kind of your ultimate range of Java hacks. Yes, yes. yes. OpenJDK hacks. OpenJDK yeah. hacks, yeah. And that's an ever-growing, overgrowing document, and mm. the whole community is involved in it, and we've got lots of Java user groups all across the world that have you know, just just poured in their resources into it. So. And to Lucy's point, actually, it's been really good, Lucy, because we've chatted to various people, and we're running a little uh, early adopters hack session over in the corner there. Um, it's been really cool, as in like chatting to random people. We've hopefully lined up a few people to contribute in the future to um, to the to documentation, to like yeah. you know experimenting with Java 9, that kind of stuff, or JDK 9. Uh, and I've had some great chats with like Arun, with Marcus, with Simon Mabel. Loads of people are here. It's a bit of a European mecca, uh, yeah, you know, in terms of is. like... A, the adopt uh, scenario is actually really interesting, isn't it? Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Is that kind of to bring more people into Java itself, kind of working and helping to build it? Yeah, I think so. Like, so the, the official sort of uh, adoption group, uh, the Oracle one, was formed about a year ago, Marnie, I think, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. And then we've got like right. a mailing list now, adoption discuss at openjdk, I think yeah. it is, .net. Yeah. But then the adoption program, Marnie, you were there right at the start in London, yeah, weren't you? Right. So ben, ben and Martin. Formed, yeah, 2011, November 2011 was when first Oracle came to London, and there was this gentleman called Frederick Oldstrom. I probably get his wrong last name mispronounced <laughs> all the time. Uh, and he ran a hack session in London at the Jacks London. Uh, it was a community event in the evening, and there was like three hours of the hack session, and he showed us how to build OpenJDK on all the three platforms. Oh, of yeah, course, yeah, for yeah. him, it was like, he was like this orchestra director, and yeah. he, he did it like with ease, but we had lots of pain points. Uh, and, and since then, it's nearly four years now, uh, we've been uh, working on this. So it's, it's a fairly old program. It's nearly Sharing knowledge, and yeah. it? Constantly evolving, Lucy, as the, sort of the build system itself evolves, Java yeah. itself evolves. We've yeah. seen, like, again, like Richard, uh, Richard Warburton, and James Goff helped a lot with JDK 8, with the date time stuff, yeah. with Steve Lambdas. Colburn, Lambdas, lots yeah. of stuff. So we've, there's been a whole evolution of learnings and sharings, which is like, brilliant, because it's like a, a, a virtuous circle. Yeah, so if I had to Temple. use keywords to describe what the Adopt Open JDK is, mainly to spread awareness, uh, to ease the minds of developers so they don't think they have to be die-hard coders to yeah, get into it. Yeah, that's important money, actually. Like, uh, it doesn't have to be painful. Absolutely. So or, or you don't have to be a genius. A lot of people come to us, like Lucy, and say, oh, this program on the OpenJDK must be a genius. Yeah, and we obviously yeah, like to think we're geniuses, yeah. but we're not, money. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the reality yeah. is anyone can get involved, exactly, so that's like, really yeah. cool. Uh, uh, and also to keep Java from getting stagnated in the sense the whole program is about improving a lot of bits of a Java, like because we have sub-programs called uh, build cleanup warning process, the, the, the cleanup uh, of the warning messages that appear during, during the build of the OpenJDK, uh, refactoring stuff, writing tests, 
uh, yeah. testing well, Java early, <coughs> way, way early, before it's even released. So Java 9's been tested at all, all across the open source uh, projects all over the world by different owners of open source projects so that when Java 9 is released at whatever date next year or, or whenever it's decided to be released, we have a far more robust system which encompasses all the different platforms and all the different tooling that we use, all mm. the different libraries that are used by all the projects in the world, and, and there are minimum, if, not, if, ne if no problems at all when it's released. So all of that is actually coming all under the hood of the Adopt Open JDK. A very wise umbrella. Exactly, and not forgetting the better F project, which is uh, well, a little, little plug, Lucy. Sorry, we've got to get a little yeah. plug in for. Actually, like, please plug away. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, like Martin uh, Martin Berberg in London's been great at setting up a lot of uh, initiatives. And one of the things with the Open JDK, which is not so easy to contribute, actually, is the the whole um, contribution and, and build system. It's based on Mercurial. Oracle have done a great job actually with with building for over the last few years, but it's not a traditional fork and pull model, which you might expect with a lot of open the source GitHub, projects. Um, Git, GitHub model. generation. Everyone yeah. very much you know is used to forking and pulling. It's Mercurial repo that Oracle uh, JDK, or sorry, the Open JDK is based in. So we're writing actually a, a wrapper around it. Um, a lot of the LJC um, sort of involvement around that. It's called BetterRev because the initial system was called WebRev. So you wrote a WebRev in order to get a patch contributed up, upstream to Open JDK. So um, we're writing this thing called BetterRev. Like I say, Martin's leading the charge in London. Myself, Marnie, helping out. Yeah. It's a kind of wrapper around the actual Mercurial repos to enable GitHub-like functionality, in that you can just um, We've effect effectively cloned the, the Open JDK repos into a, a, a Git bucket, repo. A you can you can fork the repo. You can do a pull request, and the better Rev wrapper will then be on the constant lookout for your pull requests. It might run some um, code quality tests and and various other tests, and then it will kind of help ease your contribution into the Open JDK. Obviously, yeah. it's, it's not really easy money, is it? Because there is yeah, a lot of quality yeah. gates for the Open JDK, yeah. quite quite rightly. But um, it's going to be um, it's going to be helping like. Sure. Joe developer or yeah, Joe Jane uh, this developer. This definitely that kind of will stuff. help uh, keep in line with the Open JDK way of programming, the way of contribution, and all the rules and regulations. Because you know, the whole code base is is owned by so many different groups, and there's so many overlaps yeah. that if you change one bit, you need to let everybody in concerning that bit know that this has changed. What do you think? And humanly, it's impossible to remember all of that. It's a very complex map. Absolutely. And this. And only getting bigger. Yeah, it'll, it'll only get more, more, more bigger and difficult because with Java 9, with modularization, again, the, that map has changed. And humanly, it's not possible to remember. And you need to be like a seasoned OpenJDK developer to know it off the top of your head. And that's something we want to make it easy for everybody. So we don't have to focus on all those other things, but focus on changing and improving and contributing. And you spoke about Java 9, so just to kind of finish off, um, what areas of Java 9 would you still kind of like to see people getting involved with, people working on? What's have you got any kind of... I think you hinted at it already, Marnie. The, the testing list is really important because yes. fundamentally there's not lots of language changes. Like Java 8, lots of language changes. Lambda, stream, state time, all this stuff. Um, Java 9, uh, JDK 9, is more about the underlying, the, the famous jigsaw modular system, Absolutely. which is really like changing the actual... Um, Design, isn't it? Architecture, big maybe. Time. Yeah. Big time. Because we're, we're all used to, any of us that used to sort of diving a bit lower level is the, the famous RT jar, the runtime jar, Marnie. Yeah, yeah. That's now getting split up. We, yeah. We've got bootstrap so we've got, uh, we've got, images, we've isn't We've got it? something called J image, which is not a very widely spoken term because it's, it's fairly, fairly new. And we looked into it yesterday at the hack session. We dived into the folder where the image files were created. So an RT jar, we think, has been split into three different .j image files. And they kind of have the same internal structure, but they've got different names around it. You have different programs that will now embed classes into those programs. So we need to learn how that works. So it's kind of a new vocabulary for people to learn. Yeah, anyway, kind of, thinking. yeah, it's a Take for the tools, Lucy, because a lot of tooling, like IntelliJ, a lot of IDs, yeah. that kind of thing, use the RT jar to do like little tricks, really tricks, you know, awesome tricks that we've come to rely on. The yeah. lack of the RT jar or the lack of like sort of the updating now of the RT jar, because you're actually yeah. going to build the J images instead, might break or fool a couple of the tools. So we need to, like, particularly, I think, tooling mining, don't we? Any, yes, any kind of yeah, like That's why the tooling, Testing Java testing early out. project, which is part of the Adopt OpenJDK project, is something we're pushing a lot. We're bringing it into a lot of the hack days that we do. That's very much in people's interest, I suppose, to get involved with this testing now, because along the line, that's going to be... Yeah, see, yeah, so totally. <laughs> you're a library developer. It's in your best interest to make sure that that builds in Java 9, so you get involved early. And if you're a library user, it's in your best interest to all to see all your projects that use all those libraries, are they compiling fine in Java 9, in the early access, uh, at least? And then you don't have to complain about it way really later. So feedback, can you, yeah. as soon as possible? It helps. Yeah. Like the early help, feedback. Because the Oracle people have got a lot it? of stuff on. So the earlier you can feedback stuff, that mm. is really appreciated. Yeah. So. Thank you very much for chatting with us today. Thanks, Lucy. Thank you for all the links so people do want to get involved. Yeah, awesome. Sure, yeah, definitely. Yeah. What you do, please click on. Yeah. Cool. We Thanks for your time, Lucy. Thanks, Thanks, Lucy. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.